What's up guys, Eric here, and in this video, I wanna talk about the season five poster for Arrow. Now, I already did one for the season three poster for The Flash. If you guys wanna check that out, I'm gonna link you up here, and you can go watch that first, and then come back to this video, or you can finish watching this video, and then watch that one second. Whatever order you choose to do that in is totally up to you, and I'm fine with it, <laughs> however you wanna do that. But what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna dive in to this poster for the arrow and I'm gonna break it down just like I did in the flash video. I'm gonna talk about the text in the poster, I'm gonna talk about the design of the poster and the look of the costume in the poster because I think there's a lot that we can learn from these posters that they're using to advertise the shows. Now, before I even get started here, let's point out that there is no mention or alluding to Flashpoint in this poster. And that's a big deal because we know that this poster is representative of what's gonna be happening at the beginning of season five. And it looks like Flashpoint hasn't really done much to Oliver Queen or the Green Arrow, at least from what we can see in this picture. I've been saying from the get-go, I didn't think Flashpoint was gonna be a huge effect on shows outside of The Flash. In our minds, as fans, we create ideas that are much grander and much greater than what we may get on television. I think Flashpoint will be contained to The Flash with very little effects outside of that. That's what I think. I might be proved wrong you know, when the show comes back, but we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and talk about the text in the poster first. Now, the very top, it says, his fight. Now, this is really important because one of the big criticisms of The Arrow over the last couple of seasons is that the show has felt too bogged down by characters, that there's been way too many characters jumping up and taking lead roles when the show is supposed to be about Oliver Queen and the Green Arrow. And it hasn't really felt that way, at least in season four, it was very disjointed. So what they're telling us here is this is his fight. He's taking it back to the streets, and at least in the beginning, it is going to be the Green Arrow out on the streets doing what the Green Arrow does by himself for a period of time. This is a throwback to season one. It's a way of saying that he's going to be facing threats alone, at least in the beginning. Also, this is, you know, taking this is taking note of him being a mayor as well, because he's going to have to fight as the mayor of Star City. And so it is his fight on both fronts, right? And next up, we have his city. Again, this is two sides of the same coin. Oliver Queen as the mayor and Oliver Queen as the green arrow. What I really hope to see this season in regards to the city is seeing that juxtaposition between him being the mayor and his duties as the mayor and things that he thinks are right for the city as mayor Oliver Queen versus how he sees things as Oliver Queen the Green Arrow, because this is the interesting part about this. All this time we've been watching the show, Oliver Queen as the Green Arrow has been doing things the way he thinks they should be done because he's out on the streets and he's seeing things firsthand. While a lot of times we had the police department and the mayors and everyone in the city coming down on him for taking things into his own hands because he felt like he could do it himself and they were like, no, you can't, you're vigilante, you need help. And this has always been a struggle between Oliver Queen and the city, but now he is the city. He is the mayor and he is the vigilante. So hopefully we get to see his internal struggles dealing with this from both sides of the situation. Um, I, I really think that would be interesting to see him go down that path. Next up, we have his legacy. Now this has got a lot to do with everything that's happened since season one, because we're talking about the legacy of Oliver Queen and the Queen family. We're also talking about the legacy of the Green Arrow and the legacy of people that have fallen along the way. Other characters, civilians, Laurel Lance as the Black Canary is a really good example of a legacy character that has been killed along the way that he's gonna have to deal with this season. I feel like that's gonna carry through the whole season. We're gonna see the effects of that, you know, with, with a lot of the characters that were close to Laurel still permeate through season five. So he's worried about his legacy and how people will remember him as a mayor and how people will remember him as the Green Arrow. Also, this is talking about some of the stuff he's done in the past coming back to him. Prometheus, the character Prometheus, is a really good example of something in his legacy that is gonna come back and face off against him in season five. So overall, they use the word his in all three statements, his fight, his city, his legacy. And that's very important because to us, the fans, they're trying to tell us we are going back to what the show is supposed to be about. 
the Green Arrow, Oliver Queen as a singular superhero. Now we know he's putting together a superhero team throughout the season, but we're not sure when we'll see these characters or when they'll be out on the streets fighting alongside Oliver Queen, but you know, at least they're trying. They're making an effort here by saying, look, we are going back to what the show was. The core of the show, his, 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 as in Oliver Queen. Now, if this is in fact what they're going to do, I'm excited for this. But they've burned me before, and you've totally let the fans down before. So I'm just hoping that these that this statements and the text in this poster actually lives up to what it's supposed to mean. Okay, so let's talk about the design of the poster because I find it very interesting. Whereas with the Flash poster, we were looking at Barry Allen running out at us and we were there with him. And in this poster, we are looking up at the Green Arrow. We're looking up at Oliver Queen. It's sort of like the rest of the city is looking up to him as the hero. They're looking up to him as the mayor. They're expecting him to stand up and be one with the city. And that's another part of the design of this poster. He is standing tall, just like the buildings in the city, all leading together, all going upwards while he looks dead ahead. He's determined and he's ready to go out there and do what he has to do. This poster is showing us all the buildings in Star City and the Green Arrow standing up with the buildings out on the street in full costume and we are looking up towards him. So that is a sense that there's, a you know, he's bearing some responsibility on his shoulder and the city is weighing down on him. And that's what the design of this poster says. And I can appreciate that part. I do like that part of the poster. I think this is one of the better posters they've had because again, it makes me feel like there's some weight to the story that Oliver Queen is going to be showing us this season. And I'm actually kind of, this is the first time I've been somewhat excited about the show because I feel like this tells me that, hey, we're going back to our roots. And if they are in fact doing that, then I am excited to see where they're going to go. But I have a feeling that Olicity is going to come back and slap us in the face. And I'm going to do a video about that next week. We'll talk about that again next week. But right now, let's stay focused on the poster. So let's talk about the design of the costume in the poster and how it varies from what we've seen since last season. Okay, so putting these side by side, we can see that there weren't a lot of major changes. The mask and the hood look to be the same. The harness that's attached to the chest piece looks identical. The uh, the front part of the costume is it has the same design. I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't just the same costume. It looks that similar. The shoulder pads look the same. Maybe a little bit more black detailing around the shoulders. The gauntlets on the arms. Uh, the gloves are very similar. The pants are very similar. We do see that he has a new uh, accessory there on the side of the pant. Uh, that we didn't see before. Uh, the bow looks, I mean, it's hard to tell. It looks almost like the bow from season four. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it probably is. Maybe some minor adjustments. The big change to the costume that I can see is the arms. Like, it looks like they actually went back and covered the arms like back in season one and two when he had that original jacket that was a, it was an actual full jacket opposed to the vest that he had in season four. Now, here's, this is an interesting thing. Uh, when I saw him at a panel, he had talked about how uncomfortable it was to wear the sleeveless top because of when they were filming, the time of year they're filming. And, uh, you know, he says it's not a very, the environment's not great outside to walk around, you know, sleeveless doing, you know, eight, nine, ten hours worth of outdoor stunts and fighting. Um, so I don't know if they changed this because they thought it looked better with the, with the all black arms. Or maybe those are sleeves that just come down to the uh, elbow because you can't really see. It looks like it goes all the way down though. You know, this may have been an insulation factor. They wanted to give him a little bit more comfort when he's filming outside. So they went with a full sleeve instead of the showing off the arms. I personally like the season four costume better. <laughs> I know it may not be comfortable for him, but I like the exposed arms with the uh, where you can see the muscles and the bottom half of his arm with the gauntlets on it. But from a standpoint of being comfortable, I can totally understand why they would go back in and add the black sleeves underneath the uh, underneath the leather vest. So we'll see how that looks. Right now, the costume looks very similar, unlike Barry's costume, which looked very different from his costume last season. So what do you guys think? Are you happy about this poster and the direction that it seems like the show is going? Are you still concerned that this, again, is them just tricking us fans, making us think that they're going to take us back to season one and give us the green arrow we want. And they're just going to trick us with Olicity again. <laughs> and what do you think of the design of the costume? Are you happy with the new sleeves that they put onto the costume? Or are you more a fan of that leather vest with the gauntlets and the exposed arms like I am because I really dug that look?
let me know down in the comments below because that's what it's for. I want to hear from you guys. Also, don't forget, I will be rant and reviewing all of the CW shows coming up after their premiere. So if you want to get all of those videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like and share this video. Get the word out there. I really want to communicate with you guys and have a lot of great conversations about these shows over the fall season. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I will catch you guys later.